Thanks, Lori. As the Detroit Police Department continues to mourn fallen officer Lauren Courts, we are learning more about the young man who killed him and his lawbreaking past. And as Fox News' Jessica Dupnek tells us, those in law enforcement regret that he remained on the streets and was free to fire that deadly shot. You wish that you can help somebody. You wish as a police officer in this career field that you could direct somebody down the right path. Clearly that wasn't the case for him. Uh, we couldn't help him, unfortunately. Uh, and now well, one of our brothers is gone because of it. Admittedly, East Point Police Lieutenant Robert Koenigsman would rather be talking about fallen Detroit police officer Lauren Quartz, not the suspect who murdered him. 19 year old Imani Davis, the shooter, is known as a regular to East Point PD with a rap sheet starting at just 11 years old. He got a ticket for driving without a license uh, or allegedly driving without a license, I should say. As an 11 year old? As an 11 year old, yeah. A four year gap in his criminal history, then a barrage of offenses. Uh, there were a couple of different um, disorderly conduct type runs, uh, family troubles. He was actually supposed to appear in court Friday and one of those disorderly charges, the most serious of allegations against Davis in June. The call went out on the police scanner of shots fired into a crowd at a prom party in East Point. Callers down the street from us. Prom party, but people were running from the party and then you heard some shots go off. No one was shot, but a handgun was recovered near the scene. Investigators believe Davis shot into that crowd. No charges were brought against him yet. The Macomb County Prosecutor's Office was waiting on a ballistic analysis and other evidence before signing off on a four count felony warrant against Davis. We wanted to send it out and have the state police look at some evidence that needed to be looked at before any charges were issued. And as a result of his death that had happened yesterday, it appears that there may be a closure of this file. During the time between that June shooting and his death, Davis bought the Draco pistol that killed Officer Quartz in an ambush style attack. It's unclear if it was purchased legally. Unfortunately, maybe he went down the wrong path and, and ended up where he's at now, unfortunately. Prosecutor Lucido says this is one of several cases that have gotten hung up along with the additional evidence that they required. He also said there is a lack of staff in his office that are causing delays. Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News.